Sarah here, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through decorating my office tree and then also some other parts of our house. I put up my Christmas village and then some garland. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. I will link my first decorate with me video up in the cards. I took you through decorating our real Christmas tree that's in our living room. So that video is already up. This is going to be the other parts of the house that I'm decorating. So yeah, that video will be linked. I'll link all of my gift guides. I've done Vlogmas already and I've, I think I've posted five gift guides. So I've got tons of holiday content up and tons more will be coming. So definitely subscribe and turn on your notification bell. The first thing I did was pull out my Christmas tree and then put it together and start fluffing it. This is always kind of the most annoying part of having a faux tree. I will link this one below. It was really affordable. I wanted something smaller for my office, but this one is still available this year. Let's go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Alright, I am going to try to flock this tree I had, I think I got rid of the can of it But I had this um, snow spray that I used last year and the year before, but it kind of looks fake and I wanted to try this out. I will leave the recipe down below. Hopefully I don't ruin this tree, but you have to wear gloves because it has glue in it and then you kind of massage it onto the branches. So we're going to try it out. As you can see, I have gloves on because this solution does have glue in it, so you don't want to use your bare hands. And I was at first a little bit more timid, and then as I went on, I got more confident with it. But you just take each branch and kind of massage the mixture onto it until your desired amount. You can add a little bit, you can add a lot, make it look like it really snowed or not. It's completely up to you. Get all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm. Alright, I had to shut my uh, shutters because the lighting was just too awful with them open Um so I have two boxes of ornaments. This one has a couple of different sets in it. All of them are gold, champagne, and rose gold. And then I've got a bunch of ornaments that my sister made me. Hold on. Okay, this is some of them. There's a little mitten. There's a present. Um, and then just some random like this uh, round ornament. A little light. Christmas tree. I just love these. The colors are perfect for my tree theme and she actually sells these. She hand makes them and hand beads them. So these are perfect for anyone who has pets or kids who will knock things off your tree because they are not breakable. Um, but I think that she's selling them on Etsy. So she is, I will link them below, but I've got a bunch of these and then I've got a bunch of champagne and gold and rosy ornaments. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything on the tree. Beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you. I'm making plans for what we're gonna do. I feel so blessed that I can be with you. I think that looks pretty good for the tree. I'll kind of give you guys a little run around of it, but I've done this palm garland the past couple of years. This year I'm gonna do ribbon. I've never done ribbon on a tree before, but this is two and a half inch wide ribbon. I will link it below in case you're interested in it. Um, very excited though. So this is what the tree is looking like so far. Um, I think I might get some picks to put in it as well. And I need to find more of the little hooks because I have more ornaments, but I can't find any more hooks. So I either need to get more hooks or um, get something else to go and fill in some of the spots. I did a TikTok that I will link below sharing how I cut the ribbon and put it into the tree if you're interested in that. 
I ended up getting in at three different kinds of picks, so I'm gonna add these into the tree and see if we can finish it off. Follow the moon until we reach a place we could stay. Maybe kiss a bit and dream away. And in a while we're gonna go inside. The footage got deleted when I was putting in all of these picks in. So I did want to show you this is the end result of my tree. I don't have a topper on it. I decided to go against a topper, but this is what it all looks like. I'm so happy with it. And here's an up close of the flocking. And I haven't had issues with it flaking off even after decorating it. I think it looks so good. All right, I'm sitting here obviously by the TV and I got this garland yesterday. So I'm going to put the garland all along here. We've never put garland here. I tried last year. I think I might have included it in a video and it just was not looking good. So we're gonna try it again this year. And I've got like this random bin of, this is like a little palm garland I made last year. But I also have a couple sets of lights in here. So I have these like bulb lights and then I have these twinkle lights. So I am hoping that one of them will work to kind of weave into the garland. I think it'll be so cute. So I'm going to work on that. I was trying to figure out how I wanted the garland to go and it's too long to just have it as a straight line and so then I folded it in half and then I didn't like that. It was a little bit too full and so I decided to just tuck the ends behind. I was going to trim it but I just decided against it because I don't know where we're going to put it next year. You have to do the exact same thing to garland that you do to a faux tree and just kind of fluff it up and make it look more lively so that it doesn't just lay there and be really like clumpy and then I took all of the lights. I ended up using two strands of lights and I put one remote on each side just so that I didn't have a remote in the middle of it and I think it turned out good there's a few more lights on the left side than there are on the right but that's okay all right here we go all lit up it's so 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 cute and then of course I had to put Alfred the elf over here with the garland. Here is our open space. I do a village every year and I've done it here the past couple of years. So I'm going to get all the houses out, put the fake snow down. I might do the trees a little bit differently than I did last year. I'm gonna pull out all of my bottle brush trees and see if I have enough of them. I might do those instead of the more realistic trees I normally do. So I'm gonna pull everything out and let's decorate. For the village, the very first thing I do is just put down this batting that looks like snow, and then I'm gonna show you a little close up of each of the houses, and I will show you in a second the box. I get asked every single year where these are from. They're from Pottery Barn. I cannot find anything even remotely similar, but I will show you what the box looks like in case you want to do your own research on it. They're lit up. I'm gonna grab all of my bottle brush trees and see what we can do. Excuse the mess. I've got these ones and these. And then I also have this set of tiny little ones. And I have this guy who's not a bottle brush, but I think he would work in the village. And then lastly, this one I think could work. I always put this one at the end of the village, so I'll put that up and then mess around with these bottle brushes. When placing the trees, I try to put the bigger trees in the back so that they don't block any of the smaller trees. And then it's just kind of, I'll do little clumps of a few trees, but it's really wherever it looks like you could use a tree, I'll just put a tree. There's not really a rhyme or reason to it. And I was trying to mix up the colors so that the entire village had all different colors in it. And then after that, I worked on the little bar corner really quickly, and I only put one bottle up there. It's actually a bottle we got for our wedding. So I just put that up there and made it really minimal so that we didn't have too much stuff since the village is pretty big. This is the end result. I am obsessed with how this turned out. And then that's our little bar corner. I actually might move this bigger tree somewhere else because I don't know that we need it here but I love the mix of colors. I just think it's so whimsical and a little bit different. 